Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is ROM. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in technology or computer or you want to learn about it. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, a ROM or read-only memory is a type of electronic storage that comes built into a device during manufacturing. You will find ROM chips in computers and many other types of electronic products, VCRs, game consoles and car radios all use ROM to complete their functions smoothly. ROM chips come built into an external unit like flash drives and other auxiliary me uh, memory devices or installed into the device's hardware on a removable chip. Non-volatile memory like ROM remains viable even without a power supply. Now what does the ROM do? ROM stores firmware which is a permanent software that's hardwired with integrated circuits. The manufacturer fits a specifically designed ROM chip into a device during the building process. Unlike the non-volatile uh, memory of our hard drive, it's difficult and time-consuming to rewrite a ROM chip's memory. In most cases, it's impossible to alter integrated circuits, which may mean you can't update more basic forms of ROM. You may be able to reprogram some modern types of ROM, but only at slow speeds and with special equipment. These hurdles make traditional ROM poorly suited for functions that require frequent feature updates or are prone to bugs or security issues. Conventional ROM is pre-programmed to suit its intended hardware. It often controls functions that are both integral to the utility of the device and unlikely to need modification or personalization. One kind of data usually stored in a ROM chip is the basic input-output system BIOS. A device BIOS controls the way the device responds to cues from the user at the most fundamental level, such as computers booting a process that occurs when the system powers on. Types of ROM Here is an overview of the different types of ROM ranging from the most basic to more versatile. A ROM Classic or mask programmed ROM chips contain integrated circuits. A ROM chip sends a current through a specific input output pathway determined by the location of fuses among the rows and columns on the chip. The current can only travel along a fuse enabled pathway and thus can only return via the output the manufacturer chooses. Rewriting its functionality impossible and so there is no way to modify these types of ROM chips. While producing a template for an original ROM chip is laborious, chips made according to an existing template can be much more affordable. Uh, PROM Programmable ROM a PROM is essentially a blank version of ROM that you can purchase and program once with the help of a special tool called a programmer. A blank PROM PROM chip allows current to run through all possible pathways. The programmer chooses a pathway for the current by sending a high voltage through the unwanted fuses to burn them out. Static electricity can create the same effect by accident, so PROMs are more vulnerable to damage than conventional ROMs. EPROM erasable programmable ROM chips allows you to write and rewrite them many times. These chips feature a cards window through which a specialized PEPROM programmer emits a specific frequency of ultraviolet light. This light burns out all the tiny charges in the EPROM to reopen its circuits. This exposure effectively renders the chip blank again after which you can reprogram it according to the same process as a PROM. EPROM chips will eventually wear out, but they frequently have lifetimes of over 1000 erasers. EEPROM to modify an electrically uh, erasable programmable ROM chip, apply localized electrical fields 
to arrange and rewrite the data EEP ROM have several advantages over other types of ROM unlike the earlier forms you can rewrite EEP ROM without dedicated equipment without removing it from the hardware and in specifically designated increments. You don't have to erase and rewrite everything to make a single edit. Read only memory or ROM is a type of computer storage containing non-volatile permanent data that normally can only be read not written to. A ROM contains the programming that allows a computer to start up a regenerate each time it is turned on. ROM also performs large input output IO tasks and protects programs or software instruction. Once data is written on a ROM chip it cannot be removed. Almost every computer incorporates a small amount of ROM that contains the startup firmware. This boot firmware is called the basic input output system BIOS. This software consists of code that instructs the boot up processes for the computer such as loading the operating system into the random access memory or running hardware diagnostics. Consequently, ROM is most often used for firmware updates. However, ROM is also utilized in video game consoles allowing one system to run various games. Additionally, ROM is used in optical storage including different kinds of compact disks such as CD-ROM and CD-Read-Write. Uh, read ROM is also used frequently in calculators and peripheral devices like laser printers whose fonts are commonly stored in uh, ROM actually. Uh, now friend, how does ROM actually work? ROM is sustained by a small long life battery in the computer. It contains two basic components, the decoder and the uh, OR logic gates. In ROM, the decoder receives input in binary form. The output will be the decimal equivalent. The OR gate in ROM use the decoder's decimal output as their input. ROM performs like a disk array. It contains a grid of rows and columns that are used to turn the system on and off. Every element of the array uh, correlates with a specific memory element on the ROM chip. A uh, diode is used to connect the corresponding elements. When a request is received, the address input is used to find the specific memory location. The value that is read from the ROM chip should match the contents of the chosen array elements. Now ROM versus RAM. Unlike a computer's RAM, the uh, data in ROM is not lost when the computer power is turned off. While the ROM chip is commonly used in the startup operations for the computer, the RAM chip is often used in the recurrent task of the computer once the operating system has been configured. Another difference between ROM and ROM RAM is the amount of space they contain. ROM chips can only store several megabytes of data, usually amounting to between 4 and 8 megabyte per ROM chip. RAM chips can store multiple gigabits GB. This storage often ranges from 1 to 265 GB per RAM chip. 1 GB is considered to be the equivalent of 1000 MBs. Therefore, RAM displays more extensively memory capabilities. It is almost impossible to operate a computer using only ROM. RAM is necessary to run useful and changeable program. Therefore, computers must incorporate both forms of uh, memory actually. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.